Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Disruptive Investing. So the Chinese battery company CATL, C-A-T-L, which stands for Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, they included the limited L, which is funny. Cattle appears to be getting into the grid storage battery game. Their founder, Robin Zhang, told Reuters that he believes that grid scale storage will be 10 times bigger than supplying EVs with batteries. Currently, Cattle has a 37% global market share in EV batteries. The photo you're seeing is the other area that Cattle wants to get into, EV platforms. This is Cattle's Panshi EV platform. Okay, so two things come to mind. Number one, grid scale electricity storage. I get it. It's so boring, right? Big, boring battery blocks that don't seem to do anything sexy. You're a disruptive investor. You want beeps and boops and AI, right? Well, hang on. Grid scale batteries are what increasingly will power all those sexier things. They collect energy from intermittent power generators like wind and solar, which don't let big oil and big nuclear fool you. Wind and solar are the cheapest generators of energy on the planet. Big grid scale batteries make solar and wind possible or more possible. And now the biggest maker of batteries wants in on grid scale. Hmm. Now, Cattle is a $156 billion market cap company, not too shabby. And looking at Cattle's stock chart, hmm, looks familiar, doesn't it? Pull up Tesla's stock chart. Yeah, very, very interesting. They both uh, follow a very similar line. So number two is EVs are hitting their inflection point, right? Even people who never considered an EV are now thinking that their next vehicle will be electric. And hmm, interesting, cattle now wants in on that game as well. So why would they go up against those big auto manufacturers? Well, maybe it's because big auto should really be renamed big combustion auto. They're good at making ice vehicles, right? Internal combustion. They're not so good at making electric ones. And you know what else big combustion auto isn't good at? Making autonomous cars. Now, I think that Cattle realizes that they aren't good at autonomy either, but they know that autonomous cars are essentially computers on wheels. And I think Cattle is going, hey, you know what? We make the biggest component of an EV, so why don't we cut out the middleman, the big auto company? We'll make the electric powertrain and potentially license the autonomous tech so that when robo taxis become the form of transportation, we'll be well positioned for that. Okay, so I see you all scrambling to see what stock exchange Cattle is on. It's on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. And no, they don't have an ADR. That's an American depository receipt, which would let you trade on U.S. exchanges. I'm not talking really about cattle as a buy, 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 buy. And disclaimer, we're not financial advisors. We're not telling you to buy any particular stock. That's for you to decide. Go talk to your financial advisor because all financial investing involves risk. Cattle to me as a disruptive investor is another data point showing that our vision of the future, sustainable energy and autonomous robo taxis is truly upon us. And we finally start to see these larger players, you may say slightly more innovative players, starting to get into the game. They're starting to go, hey, we sell all these batteries to these, uh, you know, big auto companies, these big combustion auto companies. And then they make middling EVs that don't have any autonomy or actual autonomy. They just have, you know, like level two. These guys are going to go bye bye pretty soon. Exactly. There's going to be a lot of cheap factories out there that do the part, you know, where you put the body on the car. And I think Cattle will either partner with somebody like, I don't know, who's going out of business this week, uh, Nissan, who's good at, you know, that part, the body part, and not so good at the electric powertrain part, which, again, it's not that complicated to do that part, especially if you make the hardest part, which is the battery part. And if you need another peek into our autonomous driving future, which, by the way, is a 10-part video series that we published a few years ago on our Now You Know channel, we'll put that link in the show notes. So if you need another peek, check this out. This is Tesla's order page. Yeah, but look closely on the right. It says, watch a video. And if you click on that, you get this. So what are we looking at? So Tesla is showing real world videos of what FSD can do. Tesla has never done this before. And this is because up until now, FSD wasn't ready. But now it is. We have not driven full self-driving version 13 yet, which is the latest update that came out on November 30th. As soon as we do, either on our Model Y or Cybertruck, we will be filming videos of how it handles real world scenarios here in New England. But from what we've experienced with 12.5.6, it's already amazing. And FSD 13 is supposed to be five to six times better. Now, make no mistake, FSD is not the final version. We are not safer than human yet, but Tesla will likely get there in 2025. And when they do, 
It is game over for cars as you know them, right? The cars that you see on the roads today, those are the horses of 1915. So all these other companies that are talking about what we're going to do with horses, <laughs> we're going to talk about saddles and, and bridles and hay, uh, they're all just wasting their time because that's about to go bye-bye. The part that no one saw back in 1915 or so was that the automobile was going to take over, bringing about whole new things that no one thought about. Let's talk about motels. Let's talk about gas stations. Let's talk about bridges, right? Oh, there's money in bridges. All these things that no one could picture you would need if you had horses because why would you need them? Same thing's happening now. And as a disruptive investor, that's where you need to be putting your head at, not focusing on things that you're being told are happening. Like, I don't know if you saw that story about the IIHS, the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. They put out a survey showing that they thought that cars that had disengagement when you took over as a driver, like Tesla's, were not as safe as cars like Ford's with Blue Cruise, where you could take over the steering wheel and yet you were still in full self-driving. Right because they clearly haven't tried full self-driving or they, I don't know what they're talking we're about. We're in this middle period, folks, right? Um, it's a middle period that we go through with all technologies. Uh, let's say refrigerators. Refrigerators used to be a block of ice delivered to your house, put into a box, right? The ice box. And then we went to propane powered and then electric powered. And during that transition period, I'm sure there were a lot of people still getting ice blocks delivered and they didn't really understand what it meant to have one that plugs into the wall. And that took years, that transition. Same thing's happening now. We're having a transition from you driving a car to you not driving a car. And it's confusing. And what do we talk about during this period? But your job as a disruptive investor is pretty simple. You need to look past the confusion and think about what's going to happen because the sooner you get into what's happening now, the more money you're going to make. They get your attention? You want to talk about this more? Head on over to our Now You Know Patreon where we have an investor club where this is what we talk about all the time. We try and talk about the things that are about to happen so that we can make a lot of money. And we have a Slack over there that only our investor club members can join, which is kind of the coolest thing on the internet, I got to tell you. And I know you've probably been on investing forums before and you've met all the crypto bros and you've met all of the other people who think that autonomous cars are never going to happen. Those people aren't there. We just have people who are going to be talking all about this stuff who have been up on this stuff. And so we cut out all the constant like, no, I really think that Tesla is the, I heard this about Tesla. Hydrogen. I heard that about, you know, morons. <laughs> We cut out all the morons and we're just talking to people who really believe in this stuff. And so we actually get to move forward on conversations as opposed to just having to defend yourself the whole time. So we hope that it's a valuable perk for our patrons. You should head over to patreon.com slash now, you know, and check it out. We'll see you next week on Disruptive Investing.